All right, guys, so today what we are going to do is we are, we are going to do a versus video between the Ryobi new uh, half-inch impact wrench with the Milwaukee mid-range half-inch impact wrench. All right, so now batteries are very important when it comes to tools. So in this video, we're going to use a 3 amp hour HO battery on the Milwaukee and a 3 amp hour HP battery on the Ryobi, and both of these batteries have 21700 cells in them. All right, so this is the Milwaukee. This is model number 2962-20, 18 volt system. There are four speed settings, one, two, and three, then auto, or self-tapping, if you will. Try LED beam on the front. This goes to zero to uh, 3,100 impacts per minute and zero to 2,575 RPMs. Say that again, 2,575 RPM on speed three. And so half inch friction ring uh, anvil. <laughs> We will be using a three amp hour HO battery. Battery is full. It will be on speed three. All right, so the Ryobi HP, this is a new tool to the Ryobi HP line. This is model number P6, uh, P262. This has four speed settings, one, two, and three, then auto. On the highest speed, this goes to 2,800 RPMs and 3,200 impacts per minute. Try LED beam on the front, friction ring, half inch anvil. Yeah, this actually is a beast, you guys. This is actually a beast, you know, and especially with this battery, because uh, I haven't really tested this tool out to, to its extent yet, but... All right, so let's see what these can do against each other. All right, so as you see, the battery for the Ryobi is full as well. One more check for the Milwaukee, just to show you guys. Battery is full. All right, so we're going to do a 6 by half inch lag and an 8 inch by 5 16 inch lag. It's on speed three. Remember that position. It's a, it is on speed three. One, two, and three, then auto. Do it right here. All right, so ready, go. That's it. Nope, a little bit more. No, I think that's it. That's it. All right, so let's do the Ryobi. Six inch lag, we'll do it right here. Ready, go. I think it went in actually. Nope, a little bit more. Time. Let's take it out from Milwaukee. All right, ready? Go. Time. Let's see, Ryub is out. Ready? Go. You know what, we're going to skip the 10 inch lag and go to the hardcore one, which is uh, the 8 inch by 5 16 inch lag. All right, so ready, go. Ah, that's a tough one. Let's see if that's good. I might need a, a smidge more, just a smidge more. Time. That, that is a tough task. Let's do a quick temperature reading on that while we can. Head 94 somewhere. 95, 95 degrees for the Milwaukee so far. All right, so let's do the Ryobis. Let's see how well the Ryobi does. Do it right next to it, right here. 
All right, so ready? Oh, balancing act, ready? Go. I think that did it. All right, it's all the way in because of the situation. Uh, the, the socket is in the wood and it's sort of clamped down on it and I can't get it out. The best thing to do is to have the tool take it out. So we are gonna have Milwaukee take out Ryobi's and Ryobi's take out Milwaukee's. All right, so ready? Now, I'll tell you this, that Ryobi is a lot easier to handle than this is because this uh, vibrated so much compared to the Ryobi and uh, it was easier to keep grip on the Ryobi and the design of the handle. All right, ready? Go. Time. Yeah, that got, that went way into the wood. Alrighty, so let's take uh, Milwaukee's out with the Ryobi impact wrench. Ready? Go. Time. Not too shabby, not too shabby at all. Now when it comes to these tools, you guys, I know I only do a couple of tasks in these in these videos but these tasks are so hardcore that the, they make tools fail all right final temperature 98 94 95 101 99 degrees 99 degrees for the milwaukee and for the ryobi 95 90 100 100 degrees for the ryobi not too shabby, the remaining battery life for the Milwaukee is three bars, and for the Ryobi, it is three bars as well. So both batteries had 21,700 cells, so this lag puts these tools through the ropes when it comes to their power. So these tools are so powerful that it doesn't matter if there's knots inside the, inside the wood because they'll just plow right through it and so yeah so i do not know what the test results are until i edit the video but ryobi and hilti make my favorite handles and there you have it more tests are going to be coming up with these with bigger batteries and so yeah so more videos coming you guys so i hope you found this video helpful and entertaining please like this video please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos and please subscribe to the channel this is dave nicholas thank you for tuning in i'll see you guys next time